The fact that the parents said that this was a prank does not make what happened any better or any less problematic. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst YouTube pranksters who faced justice. Oh my god, she must have crashed into the sign. For this list, we'll be looking at the most controversial jokesters known for their YouTube channels who received some delightful comeuppance. Are you a YouTube prank fan? If so, let us know your fave channel below. Four members of the controversial YouTube channel Troll Station have been jailed in connection with fake robberies and kidnapping. Number 10. Charles Ross. Vlog Creations and Ross Creations. He's trying to make a joke out of it and thinks it's funny to pull up while she's holding a child, has an air child with her, trying to live her life, take care of her children, and he is trying to make a joke by impersonating a police officer threatening to write her a ticket. Charles Ross of Vlog Creations and Ross Creations fame has had several run-ins with the cops due to his pranking videos. To date, the 2019 incident has arguably been the most extreme. Ross decided to dress up as a police officer for one of his videos and tried to issue a ticket to an unsuspecting woman. Well, impersonating a cop is illegal, and the stunt didn't fly with the actual officers of Sarasota County, who arrested him for a felony. Ross accepted a plea deal for a first-degree misdemeanor. This meant he received six months of probation rather than prison time for the original charge. There's nothing funny about it. It's adolescent behavior that's not a prank, that's escalating now, where he's doing more and more things to escalate his behavior, and somebody's gonna get hurt. Number nine, Jason Sid. King Sid. I'm not trying to put anybody's life in danger. I didn't know anybody was being affected by it. Wasting emergency services time is one of the worst things to do, as it draws resources away from those in need. Jason Sid, known as King Sid, did just that in 2022. In a video, he got his friend to report the car they were using to the cops for suspicious activity, aka selling illicit substances. Sid and friends then acted as though they were in possession of said substances when the police turned up. The authorities checked the car's trunk, but rather than finding something illegal, they discovered there was only Coca-Cola in it. Sid did this to show how aggressive the cops are. Instead, he was later charged with a third-degree felony for misusing 911, with his bond reportedly set to $2,500. While these officers were tied up on a made-up call, they were unavailable to respond to vehicle accidents, EMS calls like heart attacks, and other real emergencies. Number 8. Jason Etier. I'm Jay Station. Alexia was never dead at all. Back in the day, Jason Etier, better known as I'm Jay Station, and Alexia Murano were one of the biggest couples on the platform. But in 2020, Etier uploaded a horrific video announcing that Murano had passed away. He followed that up with videos using a Ouija board to try and reach her and going to her memorial. However, I took this picture of Alexia in my house. Look at her. She was always so happy. Always so happy. It was all a lie that he fessed up to. The scheme, which infuriated the internet, was designed to boost the popularity of his and Murano's joint channel, Dream Team. In the aftermath, Murano broke up with him and he was charged with assault. They later reconciled, but claimed it wasn't romantic before seemingly parting ways again. YouTube ultimately deleted Etier's I'm J Station and 666 channels in 2021. I'll miss you, Alexia. I know you're in a better place right now. Number 7. Can Hua Ren Reset a YouTuber could be facing prison time over a prank video gone wrong. The prankster is known as Reset on YouTube. In 2007, Kenhua Ren, who you may recognize as Reset, handed out Oreos and cash to a homeless man in Barcelona. Except Ren had actually scraped away the cream and replaced it with toothpaste, which reportedly caused the man to throw up. 
After receiving backlash, he paid the victim's kids to deter her from pursuing charges. But the YouTuber was still arrested and showed little remorse in court. There is a positive side, quote, this will help clean his teeth. I don't think he has cleaned them since he became poor. He received a 15-month prison sentence, was ordered to pay more than $22,000 in damages, and told to shutter his social media accounts for five years. However, in Spain, jail sentences of less than two years are typically suspended for first-time offenders, provided the crime is non-violent. A judge says this wasn't an isolated incident and resets other and resets other videos shows his cruel behavior toward easy or vulnerable victims. Number six, Jay Swingler and Romel Henry, TGF bro. You're trusting me to be your driving instructor, Jay. Yeah. I'm trusting you to drive this car. The responsibility is in your feet and hands. Let's take it serious. Yeah. Making waves for cementing one of their heads in a microwave, the TGF Bro guys amped things up in 2020 by taking an instructor on an English countryside drive. Only, it was anything but relaxing, as the duo of Jay Swingler and Romel Henry wreaked havoc. They went up embankments, crashed, drove on the wrong side of the road, damaged the car they were in, and more, all for some content. Why would you do that? This soon drew the attention of the police, who charged them with careless driving. They pleaded guilty. Five penalty points were added to their respective licenses, and they were ordered to pay £1,000 each in addition to court costs. This was the start of it all. This was the start of this huge downward spiral. If you haven't seen the video, we basically did extreme driving test where we just drove deliberately, like, bad on purpose. Number five, Daniel Jarvis, Helder Gomez, Endrit Frizzoli, Ebenezer Mensa, and Dan Van Lee. Troll Station. Four members of the controversial YouTube channel Troll Station have been jailed in connection with fake robberies and kidnapping. The channel Troll Station features a collaborative group of like-minded pranksters, and they love to push their content into controversy. In 2015, this meant a bunch of them pretending to carry out an art heist at the National Portrait Gallery in London, England. The art lovers were petrified. Some fainted, and others caused a stampede as they ran from the building. The channel has built a reputation for filming pranks around the city. The Troll Station YouTubers then went to the Tate Gallery for a similar stunt. After arrest, Daniel Jarvis, Endrit Frizzoli, Ebenezer Mensa, and Helder Gomez received prison sentences between four and five months. Dan Van Lee, meanwhile, got nine months for this and involvement in a different hoax. Tell them it's a prank. Tell no. Number four, Sam Pepper. Sam Pepper. Kobe is in on the prank, and Sam is getting pranked. Let's see how he reacts to his best friend of five years being killed in front of him. In November 2015, Sam Pepper, working with Kobe Brock, seemingly decided to set up Sam Goldbach. Pepper took the duo, staging a kidnapping. He then forced Goldbach to watch as Brock was fake killed. To say people were outraged at the tasteless stunt would be an understatement. It caused the English prankster to stop creating prank videos, clear his channel, and apologize. Another prank from 2014 involved him assaulting women in the street. This led to several women alleging he harassed them. Pepper has claimed that neither of these videos were real, saying everyone featured in them consented. Nowadays, he's moved over to TikTok. It's completely inappropriate. It's against the law. Uh, and it just sends a wrong message. Number three, Alan and Alex Stokes. Stokes twins. Because we're doing a bank robber prank. So we have a lot of money right here. We're gonna be running around in front of people and making it seem like we just got done robbing a bank. Alan and Alex Stokes went too far with a series of pranks in 2019. Not only did they concern a bunch of bystanders, but they also terrified an Uber driver. The masked duo ran around Irvine, California, duffel bags in tow, acting as though they had robbed a bank. Later, they ordered an Uber trying to force the driver to help them escape the fake robbery. Could you uh, step on it, like step on a gas? Okay, can I just take this away? The driver wouldn't participate, and armed police got involved. The Stokes twins then reportedly tried to pull another, similar stunt. They were charged with false imprisonment and swatting, and while they avoided prison by pleading guilty, they received community service and probation. If you're engaging in criminal activity, 
in order to increase your ratings or increase your sensationalism on YouTube, and you cross the line and violate the law, you're going to be prosecuted. Number two, Vitaly Zadorovetsky, Vitaly ZDTV. Elsa, police say despite no trespassing signs everywhere, this man still climbed to the top of the Hollywood sign. This is one of the trails that leads right to it. And police say they expect him to spend at least one night in jail. The creator of Vitaly ZD TV, Vitaly Zadorovetsky, has been getting attention as a prankster for over a decade, often for controversial reasons. One stunt he pulled in May 2016 is particularly infamous. He climbs the famous Hollywood sign in California with a sign of his own saying, I'm back generating lots of news coverage. You can see him using his phone like he's recording himself. This video just appeared on Snapchat. I climbed the Hollywood sign. What now? When he got back down to the ground, he was arrested for trespassing. Zadorovetsky apparently attempted to stow away his head camera, but it was quickly found by the cops. Then in 2020, he was arrested for aggravated battery after attacking a woman exercising in Miami Beach, Florida. His attorney claimed he was under the influence of mind-altering substances, and the resulting court case was dismissed in the end. I'm actually banned from every stadium in the world. And I went to the stadium, and it was a burn, big X. I went to jail. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Michael and Heather Martin, Daddy 5 You're not suggesting that your kids and the crying and the sobbing and that emotion we see was not real, are you? Um, not every single time. Prank YouTubers have a habit of constantly making more and more extreme content to entice viewers, but sometimes it crosses a line. That's what happens with the channel Daddy 5 Videos featuring Michael and Heather Martin playing so-called pranks on their five kids got too intense. In 2017, this sparks the YouTube community to speak out against the alleged mistreatment. Authorities got involved, and the Martins lost custody of two of the children. He's abusing my kids, hurting my kids, making them feel bad about themselves. They then received five years of probation each for child neglect. Though they continued posting on YouTube under the name Family05, their account was ultimately banned in 2018. The Martin Sons remain active on the platform, though, through the Martin Family Channel. There was a significant professional services team working with the entire family, all focused on healing and a more positive future, particularly for the children. Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.